Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're studying for the Tableau Desktop Specialist Certification, you might be a little bit nervous. And we put this video together specifically for you. In this episode, Dr. Hall, my podcast co-host, interviews one of his students who just recently passed the Tableau Desktop Specialist Certification. Allie Ridgeway breaks down what the test environment was like, her prior experience, how she studied, and this is a big one. She actually reveals that you can use Google Chrome to search up for the answers that you don't know. Now, a word of caution before we jump into this, do not lean too heavily on being able to search up these answers. This is a pretty comprehensive test, and if you don't know the vast majority, Google Chrome is not going to bail you out. So without further ado, let's jump into the interview. Hello, Tableau students. We have Allie Ridgeway with us here to talk about her um, Tableau desktop specialist exam experience. Um, so briefly, just walk us through your experience. Okay, awesome. So they tell you that you're going to need around 15 minutes for the setup before you have an hour um, for your test. But obviously, it took way longer than 15 minutes because you're chatting with someone from a call center. So um, my guy actually took around an hour. So make sure you have at least two hours blocked off for your test and they'll actually give you 65 minutes. So you get five extra minutes to read the instructions as well. And then pretty much what they're going to do is share like an interactive screen with you that looks just like a desktop desktop screen and it's going to have files with either PDFs, um, Excel sheets or a Tableau workbook already made and then a Tableau that you can click on and open use like normal and a Chrome browser. And then they'll also have a browser open with all the questions. So you just go through, answer your questions. You can skip some if you don't know, come back. And those are the three resources you can use throughout the test. Um, so just make sure you face yourself well. You'll be good to go. Do you want me to elaborate any more on that? Tell, tell them about your strategy for using the web. Okay. Um, I did, I forgot that you, I don't even know if I had the ability to use the web when I took it about over a year ago, or I just forgot and I mm -hmm. or I didn't use it. But anyways, so I did. So tell them a little bit about that since I didn't tell. The right. Story. No. So I didn't even know we could use the Chrome browser, and the guy from the call center is like, "Yes, you can use this to look up um, questions if you have any problems or whatever." I was like, "Okay," but I would recommend saving that for the end because it's going to take up extra time. And all of my browser, not all of it was in English. So I actually had to like sift through the different Google um, responses to make like find English answers. Um, so I actually went through and did all the questions that I knew quickly just from practice tests or whatever we worked in in our class. And then I did all of the data questions next. So actually working with Tableau next, um, if we had to like create a dashboard or whatever we had to do, I did that next. And then I went back and any questions I wanted to check or look up, I did that last just to save time and make sure I had everything um, timed out well and had actually had enough time to finish the test. So. And did you feel pressed for time with that strategy or? I actually ended up with 10 minutes left. So I actually had time to go back and check every question um, with my last 10 minutes. Um, so. Cool. Well, how, how, I mean, you had a little bit of experience mm -hmm. um, with Tableau with Corvo before you started the class. Right. Um, but, you know, how did you prepare for the exam? Like what kind of t tool, you know, what did you do? Great question. <laughs> how long, and how long did you do it for? <laughs> right, right. So most of the data or any analyzing, I kind of skipped over practicing for that just because I had internship experience, but more with the concepts and kind of just getting set up for the, the exam, you gave us practice tests. So I went back and did those. That was actually super helpful for the concepts um, because there were ones that were answered with as many of the correct answers as possible. And those, you know, obviously suck. So just having the idea that there could be more than one answer. Also online, there are some free practice exams. Um, so you can go through and use those. I found a website, I can probably send a link to you. And they had a breakdown of different types of questions they could ask. So it was like 10 that were concept or 10 just based off regression models, which we didn't have to do. I think it was for one of the harder ones, but you get the idea just for different questions that you could go through and answer that would be similar to what you will take on the exam. 
Um, so I went through and did that. And then I also read experiences from other people online as well. Um, so that's kind of all I did, but I will say I did have two years of experience previous at my internship. So I knew how to use the interface already. So yeah, being comfortable with the interface obviously will increase your confidence going to the exam. Um, and in the previous newsletter, I created a navigation PowerPoint that kind of like allows you, basically operates like flashcards. So for those of you who didn't touch Tableau until the class started and hasn't touched Tableau much since the class ended, I would recommend kind of going through that just to familiarize yourself with that GUI again. And then um, share the, yeah, if you send me those questions, I'll share it in the next newsletter. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, you know, everybody can take a mock quiz in Blackboard. It's unlimited attempts now. And then, and then there's questions in the study guide and the link to the answers to the study guides in there as well. Okay, a couple people asked me where it was. It's in there. It's, I think it's at the top or the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, so you kind of answered the other question, like what tools have been most helpful? And it sounds like the practice questions were very helpful. Uh, obviously, the experience was helpful. Um, and then I guess the, in terms of like the concepts, did you dig deeper other than like just doing practice questions or did you go to like YouTube videos or using the study guide? Great question. So what I did first actually was take the practice exam. If there were any terms that I really didn't know, I would go back and Google those and read about them. So for example, the blend, I wasn't really familiar on and I went back and actually read about it um, more in depth online. And I actually had a question about that on the exam. Um, so anything I wasn't completely sure of, I would go back and read about because Tableau has a whole entire website. So just making sure you understand the vocabularies is super. And if you know how to navigate Tableau super well, then you can use that um, instead of Google to go through. So they like had the question about how do you italicize a tooltip? So I went back to Tableau and like practice just going through and um, knowing how you italicize a tooltip. Um, so just things like that. Does that answer your question? Yes, very okay. much so. That, that's, a great, that's a great strategy as well as to is to not just use Google as your tool because that's going to be a little slow because you're remoting into a mm -hmm. virtual machine probably on the other side of the world. Um, so, um, and then you mentioned the other languages, but but just using the, the software as a tool, your mind will find what you need if you practice with it enough. And you just got to stay calm and do that. And, and I would say only about a third of the questions actually involve you doing something with a data set. But I used, in my experience, I used the questions, uh, I used Tableau to answer the concept questions about right. half the time. So it's a, it's a good strategy. Any other recommendations you have for your peers? And going off that, it's super, it's quicker to use Tableau rather than the internet browser because it did lag. After we talked about it, it was lagging at the end. So I would definitely say if any questions you're going to use that browser for on the test mm -hmm. for the end. Um, just to yeah, yeah, Sarah said it was pretty slow, and, mm -hmm. and I do recall it did take about 45 minutes to set up my exam as well. So, yeah. again, block off that time, and then you have to schedule it out about a week or two in advance. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't let you just say, oh, I want to take it now, and you can take it in 30 minutes. So, right. okay. Well, now on to the fun part. Um, really, why are we doing this? Well, we're doing this to send a valuable job market signal, you know. You know, Ali, you're lucky enough, you know, to have a full-time job at Corvo. Congratulations. And of course, you know, your experience is going to add to your credentials. But then if people may not know as much about Corvo, if you're going to work somewhere else, at least you'll have that credibility there. So I'm going to show you how to add it to your LinkedIn profile. So take over um, and share your screen and just kind of tell the, your peers what you'll get um, after the exam in terms of like email correspondence. And then we'll add your badge from there. Awesome. Okay. Um, so after the exam, right after um, you finish, it says whether or not you pass or failed, and then like the rate that you pass or failed. And then it says we'll give you an email within the next 48 hours. And this is the email that I received after that. And it kind of has a breakdown of the exam. So they kind of grade you on four different sections. So this is what you'll end up getting. And you only need this 72% to pass. Am I correct? Or 71%? Yeah, pass yep. 71. So literally, that's all you're aiming for, which is super nice. 
Um, make sure you know how to connect to all the data, different types of data. I was a little thrown off because one of them was already a workbook and I was trying to connect to it, like drag it in as data. So just like be aware of the endings and what they mean um, for data, different data types. Um, so these are the other four. Do you have anything to add about that? Dr. I put in a couple of slides about connecting to different um, data sets, you know, being able to navigate the data source pane. But yeah, so know the difference between a between a you know tableau workbook and a package tableau workbook and mm -hmm. what an extract is. Um because they I think they probably ask you to connect to an extract one time and then one time a CSV and then another time like an Excel. Like mm -hmm. they want to see if you're comfortable doing that. And uh and then um exploring and analyzing data. This is where like it's hard. I think you're gonna almost everybody's gonna get dinged a little bit on there because sometimes it's not clear exactly what they're looking for. And if you don't do it exactly right, they might ding you a few points there. Um, but yeah, so, and then the concepts, when you have like these pick three of the, pick the three right ones or the way they kind of make these multi-pathway, multiple choice questions, you know, it's difficult to know what you're getting partial credit on and what they're just gonna ding you on completely, so. Mm -hmm. But you know, all you need is 71%. Um, but it's not like it's it's not an easy exam. It's um, so you got to study for it, especially if you don't have a lot of experience beforehand. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. So go, go ahead and show them the other email. Okay. Awesome. Yes. They also send you a badge that you can add to your emails or links to in. Um, and it looks like this, and I think Dr. Hall's gonna walk me through how to put it on my LinkedIn, so. Now you wanna just click accept your badge, and it'll open up the Acclaim website. It's gonna ask you to set up your profile. Okay. I'm assuming it's covering your password. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody can log in now. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So you got to confirm that you're not a robot. Love that. Okay. Not my email. <laughs> Okay, so click accept badge. Um, yep, save settings. Okay, so then it says connect your LinkedIn account and you'll be able to share your earned badges to your LinkedIn profile. So you wanna hit connect. Oh no, it's gonna make me sign in, okay. Then you say, will you allow a claim to add this to your profile? All right, so now it's gonna give you instructions on how to do it. Okay, so use the copy buttons below to add your badge information. Okay, so now um, let's set up everything you know first and then we'll come back to this. Okay, go ahead and copy the first thing. This? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so now go to your LinkedIn um, profile. Okay. Okay, do you have a licenses and certification section already? Um, maybe, let me look. I used to, I don't know if I got rid of it. No. Okay, so you wanna go to, yeah, add profile section, licenses and certifications. Okay, all right, so go ahead and paste what you copied for the name, okay. All right, let's go back to the other tab. 
Okay, they just want you to write Tableau um, for the issuing organization. So that's, so they just said, wow. it says said Tableau, but there's like lots of different things mm -hmm. here, so. Tableau, I wonder if it's this one. Um, well, Tableau, because they have their own training courses. They just said, just put Tableau, so. Let's do what they say. Okay. Um, it's usually nice to have the icon, but anyway. Yeah, I mean, the, I put Tableau software. Let me just check mine on my end. Um, let's see this what. is Tableau training courses. On the certificate. Well. Uh, I'm just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna edit mine. I put Tableau software. So put Tableau software because I know it works me okay all right the credential does not expire it's it's permanent um, and so you'll put you know today's month and year okay and then I think you're copying the credential ID from the other tab that's the credential URL. Um, that's the second thing. I think there's one on my PDF. Yep, that's your that, yeah, that's your um, it's your Tableau ID. Is it that? No, that's my candidate. Is that yeah, your can, yeah, I think it's your candidate ID. Because mine says yeah, it's like four seven digits, right? Yes. That's it. Copy this. And you copy the, the credential URL. And then that's it. It's safe. Beautiful. Be up here. Oh, there it is. There she is. Oh, she looks good on it. So it. now, now you've got an extra differentiator on the job market, and and um, of course, Cuervo obviously, not Cuervo, <laughs> wrong party, <laughs> Corvo. <laughs> <That's nothing. laughs> Save that one for the bloopers. Um, Corvo uh -huh. definitely saw something um, great in you even before you were able to send that signal. But um, thank you for. Um, showing this and um, encouraging your peers to pursue this certification. Of course, I'm always available if you guys have any questions. Okay. Awesome. All right. And th any last words, Allie? You're the student. Um, I don't think so. Just good luck. If you guys have questions, feel free to email me too. So. Cool. Thanks, Allie. Of course. All right.